from Six Degrees of Separation and his starring role in Bad Boys, Will Smith. The category is visual effects. And man, look, the branch was really tough on themselves this year. You know, it's only two nominations. Now, the first nominee for best visual effects is Apollo 13. Now, the real story of Apollo 13 took place in outer space where there is no gravity. For the movie version, nominees Robert Legato, Michael Canfer, Leslie Ecker, and Matt Sweeney built sets inside a K-135 airplane used to train astronauts. Apollo 13 is the first film to ever be shot in true weightless conditions. These remarkable scenes were accomplished by flying way up into the stratosphere and putting the plane into a steep dive. Go. Cool. The second nominee for best visual effects is Babe. Now what happens when you take a dog, a duck, a cat, some sheep, a little bit of pork, and put them in the hands of the visual effects team from Babe? Well, nominees Scott E. Anderson, Charles Gibson, Neil Scanlon, and John Cox swore they'd never reveal their secrets, so let's just enjoy their amazing artistry, shall we? And the Oscar goes to Scott E. Anderson, Charles Gibson, Neil Scanlon, John Cox for Bay. I'd like to thank the membership for realizing that, that Babe was a visual effects film, that animals don't really talk. Uh, and to uh, George Miller and uh, Chris Noonan's vision of a world where animals have as much humanity and personality as humans do. To Carl Miller, whose amazing animal action just uh, was an inspiration to us. Uh, to Marcus Darcy, to John Friedkin, and uh, to the team at Rhythm and Hughes. I'd like to thank uh, John Stevenson and everybody at the Henson uh, Creature Shop. Above all, I'd like to thank my crew. Their brilliance and dedication make this their award too. I'd also like to thank you, the Academy. I'd like to thank Greg McKee, Chris Chitty, Matt Ward, my loyal crew, my mom and my family. Hey, to Chris Noonan, this is for you, your friends and your friendship. Thanks a lot. Back to think about Bruce Springsteen, you know? He wrote the music for Dead Man Walking in Philadelphia. I just want to say, boss, you know, I think you should lighten up a little bit. Maybe do a tune for Ace Ventura, you know, something. <laughs> Two reasons nobody left leaving Las Vegas were its stars, both nominated for Oscars tonight. She got to play a fragile call girl on the strip, a field day for any actress. I'm not going to say it. And he got every actor's role, an agent who is drinking himself to death. Here are the fun couple of the year, Elizabeth Shue and Nicolas Cage. Competitive category for documentary film joined Oscar's Army in wartime 1941. That year, the National Film Board of Canada picked up the prize for Churchill's Island, a daring look at how England fought off the threat of Nazi invasions. Ever since then, documentary filmmakers have used 101 ways to cut corners and still deliver powerful messages. This year, for best achievement in documentary short subject, the nominees are... Jim Dine, a self-portrait on the walls, Nancy Dine and Richard Stilwell. The Living Sea, Greg McGillivray and Alec Lorimore. Never Give Up, the 20th century odyssey of Herbert Zipper, Terry Sanders and Frida Lee Mock. One Survivor Remembers, Carrie and Tholis. The Shadow of Hate, Charles Eli Guggenheim.